Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today I am in my first ever non-smoking hotel room by choice. It's kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So this is gonna be more of a writing video, but more of a life lesson video, okay? Little heads up, if you haven't watched the other video, I'll try to link it here where I'm talking about being back in America. What I want to say is, since I have been back, and even before I left, there were some people who were doing this. And it's not because these people are bad people. They mean well, they really do, or else they never would have opened their mouth in the first place. But in life, with the people you were close to, and even people you're not, in business, with people you work with all the time or people you're working with for the first time. There is something that you should always do, especially with your writing. If you're writing a series, if you're putting a book out, whatever, you need to follow this rule. It's only two parts. Two parts of this rule and you're fine, okay? And for some reason, everyone seems to do it in reverse. So here it is under promise and over deliver. That seems crazy for some people, but I'm serious. Under promise, over deliver. What a lot of people seem to do is over promise and then either under deliver or not deliver at all, okay? That's bad, don't do that. Whether you are putting a book out. So a good example of doing this with a book is saying, oh, my new book's gonna be out September 1st. And then the book doesn't come out September 1st or October 1st or November 1st. That's bad. Saying, oh, my next book is gonna be 350 pages. And then the book is 80, okay? Okay, here's an example. Hey, the room you're gonna be staying in is only gonna be $300 for the entire time you're there. Oh, that's awesome. Oh wait, did I say $300? I meant $700. That's bad, okay? And if any of you guys end up watching this, don't get mad, but just understand that it was really difficult for me to go through some of the things I've been through lately. Don't over promise, especially when somebody is in like a desperate time, okay? Because those promises are all people like me have to hang on to. And then we build the rest of our life around that promise. And then when you take that away, everything crumbles. But it's like, if I know, oh, okay, well, I have somewhere to stay until next Sunday. So now I got to figure out where to stay Monday through next Friday. Or maybe by then I'll have enough money to get a hotel. And then maybe by then I'll have enough money to rent a car so I could go try to find a place to live and go visit all these places and shit like that. When you start taking little things away, it makes all the other shit crumble. Here's the thing that kind of pissed me off. Both my mom and one of my good friends said this to me when I told them what was happening to me before I got back home. They both said, well, you wanted an adventure. Okay? Yeah. I had an adventure, and when you guys hear what happened, you're gonna fucking lose your shit. But, like, that doesn't mean that I all I want is adventure. I would love just some normal ass shit, some fucking stability for a half a fucking minute. You know what I'm saying? So, like, right now, I have created stability here at this Motel 6. Okay, and I will be here for the next three days, making myself stable. But then, like, so here, here's the plan. So, and this is me promising myself something. I am here for three days, I'm going to rent a car tomorrow, and then I'm gonna go drive to all of these rooms for rent and see which one I like. And hopefully I can find something. I don't know why I'm even talking about this. I don't, I, I just, I'm so used to venting to you guys about my life. And I've been doing little things on members stuff, but I have to, especially now when I'm a bit hard up, I need to be doing more content as much as it's hard for me to do. Okay. 
So here we are. If you guys have been emailing me, I'm getting I'm worse than I was about returning emails right now. Like I'm just now getting back into the swing of opening my computer every day. But here's the bottom line. If you promise something to a customer, to a fan, to a reader, to anything. If you promise somebody to somebody, if you promise something to somebody, follow through and always do more than you say you're gonna do. So let that sink in and start thinking backwards from there. So if you are like, well, I can make a pot of coffee for this guy. I could easily make a pot of coffee for this guy. Tell that guy, hey, let me make you a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee. That's your promise. You promise to make someone a cup of coffee. You are going to over deliver by making them a pot of coffee, okay? When you tell someone, yeah, my book will be out on September 1st. And it's like probably like a couple hundred pages. But then the book comes out on August 28th and it's 500 pages. That's over delivering. Okay. Not only that, but now not only is it out early and longer than they thought, but if they click this link, they also get this free prequel. And all they have to do is like join a mailing list or something like that. That is over delivering. Okay. But telling somebody, hey, I'm going to buy you a camera. I'm going to give you a place to stay. I'm going to do all this shit for you. But I'm not going to do that. That is the opposite. That is over promising and under delivering. Okay. Now, again, I need to make this clear. I am not trying to be a little bitch going, why isn't anyone giving me the things that I want? I'm saying, do not offer things that you cannot give. Okay. Like, cause all of the things I'm talking about, I never asked any of these people for. Okay. That never happened. They were offered to me. Okay. So, and what we do on this channel is I take real life things and turn that into writing advice. And then that writing advice, not only is writing advice, but life advice, things you can use in your everyday life. So, Again, under promise, over deliver. It's not fucking rocket science. Please, for the love of God, keep buying my books or start buying my books. Links will be down below. Type hard, everybody. Please join the crew down here, the join button. Click it. Any tier. I mean, obviously, the more expensive ones are the best. But, you know, get down there. Click that link. Live streams Monday through Friday for members. Okay, and I will talk to you all later.